Hello friends, my name is Jyotir May Biswas and in this video we are going to talk about Mario Botta, who is a master architect of postmodernism. Born in Mendrisio in 1943, Mario Botta attended the Liceo Artistico High School in Milan and graduated in architecture from IUAV Venice in 1969. During his time in Venice, Botta met Louis Kahn and worked at Le Corbusier. Strongly influenced by two great masters, his design style evolved into pure geometric and imposing forms. Brick is a key material in his body of work used as cladding to accentuate the severity of his designs. All his works has a spiritual connotation through which he demonstrates the importance of architecture as a means of expression of human memory. In 1969, he opened his own architectural practice in Mendrisio, beginning a career that would lead to him creating significant exemplary work including several religious buildings. The 1970s saw the beginning of his teaching career and research work with conferences, seminars and courses in Italy and overseas. He is a visiting lecturer at the Yale School of Architecture, Connecticut and professor at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, Lausanne. His openly asserted principles on which he bases his architectural designs include the importance of the site and the importance of light because it makes the space and architecture complete. Mario Botta's monumental San Francisco Museum of Modern Art was the architect's first building in the US but was frostily received by the critics. When Mario Botta set out to design a new home for the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art in 1988, his goal was to create a landmark building with iconic strength. The museum project came with high expectations. It needed to establish a visual identity for a museum that didn't have one and it needed to do so in a district characterized by dilapidated buildings. Working with local architects, Porta conceived a five-story museum composed of stacked boxes clad in various treatments of red brick. On the street-facing elevation, the orthogonal volumes step upward, giving the building a wedding cake-like appearance. Emerging from the center is a circular turret wrapped in several egg bands of black and white stone. The top of the cylinder is sliced off at an angle and sheathed in glass, resulting in a giant oculus that brings in natural light while also gesturing towards the city. Botta describes the oculus as a sort of eye that pulls the building's interior in contact with the outdoors. Inside, the diagonal skylight funnels light into an atrium with a grand yet compact staircase. This building is created with simple forms, clear geometry and solid massing. A piece of architecture that is distinguishable from other downtown buildings. The material palette includes wood and granite, giving the space a warm and eclectic feel. He is an honorary member of numerous architecture institutions and academies including AIA, American Institute of Architects, RIBA, Royal Institute of British Architects, and the International Academy of Architecture, SOFIA. Several universities have awarded him honorary degrees. He has received significant awards and acknowledgments over the years. His work does not invite easy classification. It is surely modern, but it avoids the pros and cons of so much late modernism. His material is masonry, not glass or steel, and he uses it to create buildings that are firm self-assured experiments in geometry. 